Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Here we will discuss the introduction part of Dynamics 365. So when we are introducing Dynamics 365C, we have uh, topics to cover. Cover you know, what is Dynamics 365 product stack, history of Dynamics CRM, additions of uh, Dynamics CRM, and what are the deployment types and licensing available how to define other competitors and what are the differences between CRM and other competitors. Excellent framework, out of the box features. So let's discuss about Dynamics product stack. Previously there were products like Dynamics Navigation, Microsoft Dynamics AX, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and Microsoft Dynamics C5, GP, and SLA, SL. So all these products are now combined to have a Dynamics 365, uh, product. Now, if we talk about the history of the Dynamics CRM, then the first version was Microsoft CRM 1.0, which was released in 2003, which was having uh, features like sales service model with outlook integration and crystal reports. So, gradually, the uh, Dynamics CRM uh, gets changed and upgraded with some more packages and more features. And uh, in 2005, we have uh, Dynamics, 3, Dynamics CRM 3.0, which was released then consequently Dynamics CRM 4.0, 2011 version and 2016. And now we are in Dynamics 365. So every version have their own and advanced features included uh, in our uh, versions that we have. And if we talk about additions in Dynamics CRM, we have two types of additions available in market. One is business edition and enterprise edition. Of business edition is optimized for uh, the companies having 10 to 250 employees. So this is a small, small scale industry uh, requirements. And the business edition uh, consists of financial, sales, marketing. And uh, this provides only cloud features. But in enterprise edition, it is targeted for 250 plus employees, comprising of CRM online and on premise also. And if we talk about deployment types, then uh, there are two types of deployments one is online and one is on premise. When we talk about online deployment, means we are subscribing a Dynamics 365 application, which will be hosted in Microsoft. Uh, data center in the cloud platform so there is no need uh, no need to install uh, required uh, software or required machines in your infrastructure rather every infrastructure things will be handled by microsoft uh, itself if it is on premise deployment then you have to download the application dynamics 365 application from microsoft side and install in your machine all resources and infrastructure systems are provided by your team only. So there is no Microsoft intervention on on-premise or on-premise deployment. We talk about the differences between on online and on-premise versions. We have some significant differences in pricing model and you know, uh, information storage, data access, storage space, and all that. So in online, we have monthly subscriptions. Or pricing model, but in unpermise, you uh, give uh, one time uh, capital investment and you have you own the uh, product with you. And uh, if you talk about storage, then Microsoft servers lack of server customers and options. Uh, the storage you have to purchase uh, uh, from online server, but in unpermise, you have to manage your server in, on your own. Okay. So these are all the differences that you can go through. Okay, if we talk about system updates, all updates are set up immediately if it is online. But in on-premise, you have to manually select which updates you want to require and uh, you can apply. So uh, in online also, we have Power BI data visualization integration, but in on-premise, there is no integration with Power BI. And if we talk about licensing and pricing, pricing plan, uh, in the market we have uh, two plans. One is unified operations, 
the global plan is dynamics 365 plan which consists of full user operations activity and team members the dynamics 365 plan comes with two different plans called as unified operation plan which consists of only finance operations retail talent power ups close and another uh, uh, license college customer engagement plan which is having sales customer service project service automation field service customer service insights marketing and power apps and flow okay now there are uh, different types of users uh, that uh, they can access dynamics 365 full user license then we have team members and we have activity users okay full extensibility workflow and embedded business intelligence for application users they can uh, work on extensibility workflow design and embedded business intelligences for activity additional users the transactional use of applications and embedded business intelligence functionality uh, for team members they can execute basic processes share knowledge and leverage embedded business intelligence so these are all the dynamic 65 plans that are available in the market you can also download the official license guide here so if we talk about the difference between crm and other computers then you can think of that microsoft dynamics is trending because of because of this uh, native integration with other microsoft business applications like microsoft office but salesforce you have to write some integration course manual course for that integration with uh, your day-to-day -day business applications and uh, there is a xrm framework so by this architecture you can understand the top side is content integrations we have uh, we can access dynamic crm using plans like web applications outlook and mobile we can also we, we can communicate uh, with the dynamic crm server using this web service layer and we can also configure some workflows and plugins that uh, deal with synchronous and asynchronous business logic and uh, the security is the heart of dynamic crm that we can define in the application so in our next chapters we can discuss more on this customizations and the reporting integration integrated applications and filtered sql views we have two types of data database available in uh, dynamic crm one is metadata database one is data database so uh, there is no direct uh, intervention with the database uh, because uh, the data is managed by uh, microsoft itself you just manipulate the user interfaces and you can call the web services uh, which is internally dealing with the data so if we talk about out of the box features we have many out of the box features available in the system we have multiple currency management and we have document reporting management workflow designs and uh, we have a, a predefined sales process in the system already and we have marketing module and the service module which is having a predefined very common uh, sales operations that provides a way to do our business if you talk about some interview questions you can think of what is crm and explain about the deployment models they can ask explain online versus on premise 365 so we'll stop this session now